Hi guys, this is Betty. Thanks for joining me. I'm showing you some pigments. They're all TLP pigments. The first three are primary colors, or those are the ones that I chose as close as possible to primary colors. The next ones are CMYK, the ones that I chose the closest to cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Here I'm using Marachino and Submarine, which are the red and the yellow that I chose to make orange. And um, I'm putting in the red a little bit less than the yellow because it's pretty strong. And then I'm, I'm wetting it uh, with the Josania Gloss Varnish. As always, be very careful when you're mixing your pigments. You don't want to breathe the pigments, so use a mask. I don't have a mask on because this is a talk over right now, but I always try to be very careful and encourage everyone to do as well. As you can see, that orange is coming out. It's very pretty orange, and of course it has all that shine from the uh, pigments of uh, the TLPs. I'm also going to make a purple and a green, and I'm going to speed this up a little bit so we can get to the CMYK. Okay, now let's do the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And the reason that I mix the white pigment also is because the white pigment represents the paper that you're printing on. So sometimes you need a little bit of white uh, to get to that color that you really are looking for. Because remember that CMYK is for printing, not for... Uh, like the primary colors for painting or uh, mixing colors to paint. So with that in mind, I am going to mix the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black uh, the same way I did the primary colors with my Josania uh, gloss varnish. And then we'll get to mixing the different kinds of colors together. Okay, so I have the cyan, the magenta, the yellow, and the black, and white all mixed. So this is the chart that Nicole uh, shared with me. And let's mix a few to see if this works. Okay, so the first one we're going to experiment with is the cyan and the yellow. And I'm going to try to get this green. I need 80% cyan and 70% yellow. So let's try this out and see if it works. Keep in mind that these pigments, TLP pigments that I have that I'm using as the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black are not exactly those colors, but I tried to pick them as close as possible to do this experiment. So now I am choose that I chose this uh, cyan yellow color to get the green. I have to put in 
of the cyan and 70% of yellow. So as you can see, I've already put in the cyan and now I'm gonna add the yellow and we'll mix it up and see if we get that pretty green. Okay, here we go. Drum roll. Wow, look at that pretty green. It's pretty darn close if you ask me. This is great. Look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful green. I love greens. Let's go to this uh, magenta and yellow. So we'll pick this 50-50, 50-50%. Um, we'll do 50% magenta and 50% yellow. And we're supposed to get somewhat of a orange, uh, light orange, peachy color. Okay, that looks orange, but it looks like a little dark, darker than what's on the chart. So maybe that this is one of those colors that you have to add in the white to get what's on the chart. Could be. All right, let's do the cyan and magenta. Let's pick a pink. We'll do the... 30% cyan and 90% magenta. So that's about 30%. And we'll put a big glob of the magenta in there. And that looks, well, that looks more purple than pink. <laughs> so let me add some more magenta. I got a little closer, but it still looks purpley. But this is this is wonderful that you can mix your pigments and make more colors and and not have to if if you if you can afford it. Wow, that's great! More power to you. But uh, there's people that are on fixed incomes or that they don't have space to store. Um, all these uh, different kinds of paints and like me I just love to mix and make new colors so I'm going to do one more and uh, this is the cyan and black and according to Nicole uh, black you're not supposed to mix black because in the uh, primary colors, when you mix black, you get mush. But with the CMYK, black is good. So as you can see there, I put 70% um, cyan and 50% black. And look at that beautiful blue that I got. That's amazing. I love it. I love it, love it. I thank you very much, Nicole, for putting out this experiment. It's fantastic. Nicole also made a uh, second chart, which she shared with me. And that is adding more than two colors to get colors like cobalt blue and midnight blue. You have a teal and a sap green. And she has these colors, uh, these numbers. Uh, I guess those are the percentages of the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. For example, this cobalt blue would take 73% of the cyan, 47% of magenta, uh, no yellow, and 51% of black, and you should get cobalt blue. So the next thing is choosing your technique. Well, once you have all of these colors and you've only mixed them up, 
with your varnish or Josonia varnish or GAC 800 or alcohol or whatever it is that you choose, now you're able to pick the technique that you want to um, make your painting with. What, whatever, if it's bloom, if it's a, uh, a Dutch pour, um, I don't know if it works for pearls, but I, I think it does. Um, and or any other of the other techniques, ring pearl, uh, ring pours or uh, flip cups. Uh, the only thing you do is to these colors, you would add your pouring medium. For example, for my bloom, I would take whatever color I choose and I would add my pouring medium, which right now what I'm using is PPG Satin Base 3 with Minwax Polycrylic. For my Dutch pours, I add in some gel and get the pigment to the consistency of a tube paint and then I'll add in Floetrol or um, a binder medium or GAC 800, uh, 100 in order to make the consistency of a Dutch pour. As you saw in the beginning of this video, I am going to be in my first collaboration and I hope each and every one of you support me by watching me on the 25th at 4.15. It is my first collaboration with 24 other artists. I'm really excited. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for everything. Hope you like this video. And as always, be happy, be kind, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.